<clears throat> it's French tip day today. These are called French tips. They go right on the toe of the shoes. Okay? The way I do it is I countersink these holes so the screws sit below the tap. Some people do use smaller screws that make it flush with it. I like doing it this way. So there's 13 pairs, 26 taps times five holes each. So that'll be 130 holes that we need to countersink. to drill right through that that's the trick you gotta you gotta know how much pressure you're applying or else you go right through the tap and that is done so I just have to do that 130 times Well, half of it's done. I still got a bunch more right there. show you guys one because there's too many to do. I'm gonna find a size 60. There are different sizes here. This is a 60 right there. Different different size shoes, different size taps, right? These are 60s, 70s, and there's 80s. I think 80s is the largest it comes in. So a couple of pairs we have 80s. Okay close so you guys can watch. Okay, hold that there. Score the leather. I try to not to bring the knife down like that at the end because you don't want it to go in the uppers and just kind of bend it down. Now you don't want to go too deep, obviously, right? So you just score a little bit and you need more you can do more but this takes a little practice you don't want to do that so when you come around here make sure your hand comes around this way so it doesn't slip off the shoe some soles are harder than others so you just kind of play with it and get used to the harder the leather harder is going to be to cut okay something like that now most of the time you're going to cut the stitches okay so two two services we offer for those people who really are concerned about that, about breaking the stitches, you know, which you should not be, but for those people who are concerned about that, we will hand stitch it together before we put the tap on. That's going to cost three times more as normal charge for this. This is, well, maybe more than three times. This is a $45 job here. And if I have to hand stitch it, it's going to cost you about $130. Now, when I hand stitch it, that look doesn't change because I literally put.
poke a small hole through there with a needle and thread go up through the same hole and then over the stitch and pull it back so that there's no chance of it coming loose well there's no chance of it coming loose either way but but some people want what they want and I don't mind doing what they want now some people put glue right here I really don't think it's necessary I think it holds pretty well but to each is to own so once this is done we're gonna give it a nice lightly sand it to make that surface a little bit more straight <laughs> If you look at these it's got a little bit of a curve right there I don't really particularly care for that right because what happens is when you put this in it curls up like that so before I put it on I flatten that corner out just a little bit Okay. Now comes the fun part. It's nice and flush now. It's even with the leather piece. First hole. Now these are not brass screws, okay? When I first ordered it, I was thrilled. I was so happy I found some that would work for these particular jobs. And it said brass screws on the bag. Well, you know, when you, when you sand brass, it's brass throughout. It maintains its gold color. Well, to my surprise, this turned silver so I was duped and uh, needless to say I didn't say they were brass anymore because they're not but I like the contrast I guess that's why I countersink these screws because once I sand the surface flush get rid of all that high metal shavings there or high metal edges the gold and the silver look pretty neat all right I'm gonna trim this polish it and we'll be done all right let's continue <clears throat> now the idea is not to sand obviously the shoe too much right but you're not going to find, you'll be lucky if you find a, a metal tip that's exactly the same shape as the shoe. There's always, most of the time, they need some adjustments. Not all the time, but most of the time. So once, once you sand this lightly, make it flush with the edges of the sole, you, you kind of condition it up, polish it up. I, I polish and condition the shoe, and sometimes I'll do the bottom too for the customer. Just to make it look presentable, you know? And this is what it should look like. You shouldn't have to feel that that bump should be flush with the leather sole. Okay? It should be even all throughout the edges of the edges of the sole. From the front to the side to the back. Something like that. Alright, so we're gonna do another one. Not this, this is called Lulu Taps, okay? We're gonna do the Triumph Taps. There's two versions of that. This one, Lulu, and the Triumph. And I'll show you guys in a second. All right, let's continue. 
All right, these are Allen Edmonds Strand. This is Shell Cordovan. Now, this is green. I don't know if you guys can see this, but man, these are beautiful shoes. All right. It was, um, I guess it was custom ordered with that light color welt. Turned out real nice. Got a blue pair here, too. These are the blue shell cordobans. Similar shoes. Well, the same shoes with different colors. Now, these are called Triumph tips. Okay? These holes are pretty much countersunk the way I do my Lulu, so I don't have to drill these holes any bigger than what they are. Same job, just a different angled tab. Now, when I first got these, again I was duped. I was so excited to know that these are brass. But unfortunately, they're not. They're gold plated. Okay? And um, it, now, to give the, the company credit, they didn't say brass on the box. I just assumed it was brass, right? But the other, the, the nails, the screws, the other screws said brass on there. Okay? They forgot the other word, plated, next to it. So anyway, we were at a trade show one year, and um, there was a company who had actual brass tips like that. I was so excited. I was like, cool, finally, brass tips. I prefer brass throughout because when you wear it, it remains gold. This one, when you wear it over time, it'll turn silver because it's only brass plated. Okay? Now, the only issue with that company who was selling those, they were so thick, okay? They were almost three sizes thicker than this, almost the size of the sole. I'm like, how the hell am I going to put that on there? You know, I got to have, I got to cut the, the whole sole off? That's not going to work. So had that company done it this thickness, I would have, I would have jumped on it right away. But unfortunately, they need to modify their their thickness on the on the tips, or else, or else it's not going to work. I just might make my own. One of these days, another project to do. Woohoo! So as you can see, this is very similar to the Lulu tips, right? Just have three angles to cut instead of one straight line. <clears throat> now the problem with this is that you can't sand that flush. Obviously you can't get the sander in there, right? So you got to do this one. With the knife. Or whatever you do it with. I mean, everybody does it differently. And there she goes. Now you shouldn't have any gaps anywhere, right? Should be nice and flush everywhere. It's kind of tricky to do at first, but you get you know you get the hang of it. You do a couple of them. Yeah, you're gonna make a mistake or two here and there. I mean, I've made mistakes too, of course. That's the only way you're gonna learn. But you know, after you do you do a few of them. You get used to it after a while and it starts looking good. There goes the screw. So just practice. I don't know on what. Just find some shoes and practice it on. On what? I heard somebody say that. Now this is a JR sole, okay? Which means it's very dense. And sometimes these screws tend to break. And you got to take the tap off and take the broken screw out because you can't really put another screw on top of a broken, broken screw.
Now, this is on my lowest setting, okay? But no matter how low of a setting it is, sometimes it does break the screw. I know what you're saying, do it by hand, but you know what? There's too many to do, man. There's too many to do by hand, so. If you're just careful, if you're just careful, then you're okay. All right, I'm gonna sand this one too for you guys, and then I'll come back to show you the finished product. All right, let's continue. All right, we are back. Now, on some shoes, the gold looks much nicer. I've got gold on my couple pairs of shoes. And obviously, this one, you didn't, you didn't have to sand and finish it. I put some neutral cream on it, but it's brand new. So, depending on if the shoes are old or new, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll try to finish the bottom, make it look a little presentable. And that's it. That's the story behind that. Some people drag their toes when they walk, so this is very helpful. So the toes don't wear down prematurely that's why they get this done plus it looks elegant as hell I like it it's got to be a beautiful shoe too <laughs> real nice alright thanks for joining me let's continue